Good evening, welcome, and good night. I'm delighted that you can join us tonight for Tropical Islands. Dotted across most of the world's vast oceans are strings of tropical islands. Created as vast archipelagos or small island chains, the largest islands have been inhabited for thousands of years. For many, the thought of tropical islands conjures feelings of warm, sultry days, relaxation, golden sandy beaches, coconuts, gently breaking waves, tranquil lagoons, swimming, and a laid-back lifestyle. Many tropical islands are marine national parks. Often located thousands of kilometers out to sea, their isolation and their undisturbed flora and fauna provide rare opportunities for marine scientists to study marine life and migratory birds free from human interference. Many islands are tropical paradises, literally jewels in the ocean, highly sought after destinations for a laid back, relaxing holiday. Tourists visiting the smaller islands can arrive by seaplane. These workhorses of the islands ferry passengers from the mainland flying across the open ocean for often hundreds of kilometers before gently landing on the island's calm, shallow lagoons just offshore from the beaches. Below in the clear tropical shallows, myriads of multicolored fish and corals can be seen out to the plane windows as the pilot taxis slowly towards the island jetty. Passengers step out of the plane onto a simple step then on to a rustic timber jetty to the warm greetings, waves, and smiles from the island inhabitants, who drape fragrant frangipani garlands around the neck of each visitor. On more remote islands, seaplanes are met by the smiling island people who have paddled out in their timber outrigger canoes across the clear lagoons, waiting for the arrival of the planes. They ferry passengers in two and threes back to the sandy beaches, where they are greeted once again with garlands of sweetly perfumed tropical flowers. The Polynesian people live on most of the tropical island in the Western Pacific Ocean. These seafaring adventurers traveled astonishing distances in a westerly direction into the unknown stretches of the Pacific Ocean from Hawaii in their outrigger canoes. Wherever the prevailing headwinds and ocean currents took them, traveling across enormous expanses of open ocean, they paddled and sailed in the wildest of seas until they reached land. Here, they lived undisturbed for thousands of years, raising their families, growing small crops, and fishing. It is their history, their culture, their dance, their food, and their warm, friendly, easy-going manner that visitors to the tropical islands long remember. Most of the tropical islands are also home to different species of migratory seabirds, some of whom fly for years before they land for the first time to mate and raise their young. These birds, where space allows in very cramped nesting areas either on rocky headlands, rocky foreshores, or amongst the vegetation, fly in year after year to the same nest. The baby rockeries on the islands are very noisy and generally chaotic as birds squabble over nesting materials, defend their nesting area, and chase off marauding seagulls looking for abandoned chicks. For the visitor, the overwhelming experience is one of amazement, noise, and the pungent smell of fresh bird guano. In the mornings and afternoons, tens of thousands of these migratory seabirds can be seen circling and diving into the deep ocean beyond the outer reefs of the islands in search of fish for their ever-hungry young. Bird watchers and scientists from around the world visit the islands at breeding time to observe the chaotic few months in the bird rookeries. For recreation, visitors can hire snorkeling gear from the islanders. 
A set of flippers and face mask is all that is required for exploring the clear shallow waters of the lagoons. Around 1 to 2 meters in depth, lagoon water is generally warm and calm and stretches from the sandy beach out to the inner line of corals of the first reef. Here, snorkelers can see all manner of marine life, brightly colored tropical fish, and on the yellow sand of the lagoon floor, stingrays, sea anemones, starfish, corals, and sea cucumbers. Accommodation on the smaller islands is very rustic. Sleeping in the simplicity of a traditional hut has a very pleasant and charming appeal. With raw braided reed mats on the floor, sawn coconut timber walls, and floor and bamboo furniture, the atmosphere is very relaxing and gives visitors a glimpse of how the islanders have lived for thousands of years. All building materials come from the bush or jungle, so the constructions are very organic. The huts are built on stilts in rows, all facing looking out down the sloping beach, across the lagoons, then out to sea. Lying in bed or sitting on the veranda watching golden sunrises and sunsets is a very calming and relaxing experience. There is nothing more beautiful than watching the silver light of a full moon dancing across the surface ripples of the lagoons. During the heat of the day, the huts are shaded from the tropical heat by groves of coconut trees growing along the full length of the beach. Swaying in the sea breeze, palm fronds produce a very soothing and relaxing rustling sound, ideal to fall asleep to. The sea breezes blow through the huts day and night, keeping the temperatures down. At night, if the breezes are too strong or cool, the bamboo shutters can be lowered to cover the open frames of the windows. Rope hammocks are popular with visitors who lay back with a book or to sleep while enjoying the cool ocean breezes under the shade of the trees. With no internet, there is plenty of time to explore the island. Walking from the beach up through the rainforest to the top of the tallest mountain is a favorite walk. Passing from the beach across some freshwater streams teeming with fish and crayfish, this walk is indeed a tropical adventure. Climbing up through the rainforest, the call of seabirds can be heard from below. High in the tree canopy above, different types of parrots can be seen feeding on fresh figs. At the mountain summit, the view is truly spectacular. As far as the eye can see in all directions is open ocean, no land in sight. The dark blue, almost black color of the deep sea. The blue-green of the reef shallows. The light yellow of the lagoons. And the white spray from waves breaking over the outer reef. From the summit, the village huts below are mostly hidden from the view under the canopy of the palm trees. Tropical islands offer so many pleasant experiences to the traveler. Days for resting, long walks along the beach, the colors of evening sunsets and morning sunrises, dining on freshly caught fish, hiking, relaxing and falling asleep to the sound of rustling palm fronds. These peaceful memories can be relieved in an instant and help when you wish to fall asleep. All it takes is a deep breath with closed eyes, and when lying down, imagining the gentle sea breeze blowing on your face. On your face.